Okay, perhaps it does sound fantastical, but maybe it's not the right question. Um, so what is this documentary about? This documentary is about um, some um, drugs that were found in Egyptian mummies, nicotine and cocaine. Now, I want to be going by stating that I understand that the consensus is that the um, samples were um, contaminated, but this... Um, this documentary is actually um, a little bit better than a lot of the other ones that I've seen. Um, it does does a relatively good job of explaining why um, that's maybe not the best answer. Um, science has this kind of issue, right? I mean, it wants to deal with evidence, but unfortunately, oftentimes, um, in many scientific fields, when you present evidence that contradicts um, a theory, then the evidence um, is wrong because the theory says so. Which is not, it's not science, right? Science says if you find evidence and your theory is wrong. It doesn't say that your th evidence can't exist because it contradicts your theory. Um, and you build theories based on evidence, right? Um, I, I, it sounds very um, uh, condescending, um, and maybe it should. Um, and I, it, it, there are so many examples of this that it's just... Um, and this is probably one. Um, the reality is that there is plenty of evidence that um, there was tobacco and cocaine in the old world in antiquity. Um, people don't like this, so they say that evidence is invalid. But that evidence exists, and it's quite widespread, actually. Um, there, there, there's a lot of it. Um, and watch the documentary if you want to see some of it. Um, but I mean, of course, that's supposed to be impossible because um, nicotine and cocaine are new world crops, um, and they, they they just didn't exist in the old world. Now they go through various different things in the video. Um, I stopped at this point for the reason that they're suggesting that um, Egyptians, and it is well known that Egyptians probably did not have the navigational abilities to get to South America. But, maybe they didn't have to. Um, they were also located, um, and in fact around this period, um, in control of, um, around the, this period being about 1500 years ago, Sorry, about 1,500 years before the um, Common Era, so uh, about 3,500 years ago. Um, in that period, the area that we now call Phoenicia, um, which um, included the area of, uh, well, we, we don't call it Phoenicia anymore, except in, in history textbooks. Um, but the area that, that we refer to as Phoenicia during antiquity um, and before, um, which is around Lebanon and Israel, um, was under Egyptian control, um, a part of the New Kingdom. Um, so, the Egyptians themselves may not have had this technology, but one of their colonies um, definitely did, that colony being the Phoenicians um, around Lebanon with their famous cedars and their giant ships that they used to build colonies all over the Mediterranean, and perhaps further than that. <coughs> um, it is known that um, the Phoenicians were able to circumnavigate Africa, um, and maybe a little bit later. Um, that means that they started um, in Carthage, and they sailed all the way around Africa. You know, all the way around. Back up to Egypt again, right? So... Um, they, they, they had navigational abilities, um, and that's, there's no doubt of that. Um, did they have navigational abilities that were that advanced? Um, and again, um, maybe we don't need to ask that question either. Um, if we accept that it's, um unlikely that the Egyptians would have sailed directly. Um, we are left with um, the idea that uh, the drugs came in via trade. 
Um, and in fact, if you look at the evidence, being that um, these drugs existed not just in Egypt, um, but also um, in the Middle East, Sudan, and perhaps um, if you were to look carefully, um, all the way across Western Africa. Um, you see that um, the real question you need to ask is um, whether there was um, land to trade across Africa and um, just navigational abilities directly across the Atlantic Ocean. Um, now, as it happens to be, that's actually um, a much shorter distance um, from West Africa to South America. It's nothing at all like sailing from Spain to, to Florida. Um, it's more like sailing from India to Somalia, um, which um, never caused anybody any problems um, way, 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 way back, right? Um, it's just not that far. Um, and so we can't be really thinking of this in the same way that we think of, you know, the voyages from, from Europe to, to North America. It's just not, it's not even close in terms of distances, right? Um, so there's that. And number two, you also need to take a step back and realize that um, there was a time, it was a long time ago, but there was a time when the ocean low, low, uh, the, the ocean levels were lower, um, and there was more land there, and the distance would have constantly been less. Um, and this was a long time ago, and um, I'm asking a lot of you to um, take twelve thousand years um, and throw it in the memory hole. But um, if we can conceive of this idea. Um, we start to um, come up with the idea of possible long-term trade contacts um, and massive levels of continuity um, across there. And so, at that point, we're no longer asking the question: you know, did, did the Egyptians sail from, you know, from from the Nile to the to the Amazon? That might be a little much. And instead, we're asking: well, was the was there uh, a voyage across a much shorter uh, Atlantic Channel um, at some point uh, near the end of the last ice age? Um, and then that no longer becomes such a crazy idea anymore. So why is there no genetic evidence? Well, because there were no Indians. Um, it was 15,000 years ago. They weren't there yet. Right. And so we can start to think about the idea of maybe the crops moving over um, sometime um, much um, closer to the beginning of the period, of, of much closer to the Neolithic period, um, and disappearing. Meaning ultimately, perhaps the place that the Egyptians got their drugs from was themselves. Um, and perhaps it disappeared along with the Egyptian civilization. But again, this is maybe um, taking the idea of contact, I mean, it, it, it might be pushing the idea off too far. Um, you know, as I said in the last um, reaction, you know, Plato knew something was out there. Um, that was a long time after um, Ramses. And it's probably not important that Plato claimed that this story came from ancient Egyptian writing. B but the idea is still... I mean, it, it's still suggestive, right? Um, is it really that insane to think that um, not the Egyptians, but the Phoenicians were able to sail that far, um, and it brought them back. I mean, that's what the Phoenicians did, right, is they sailed out to other parts of the world, they got goods, they brought them back, and they sold them at a profit. That's what the whole point was.
so yeah, we don't. I, th I think I think that's the important point here. Um, in, in realizing that there were um, traces of nicotine, um, in fact, more than traces of nicotine, and and and, and cocaine um, in um, mummies um, in Egypt and in the Sudan and areas around there, we don't need to conclude that the Egyptians themselves sailed. We just have to conclude that they were in contact with traders that could have. And as it turns out, there's a very strong candidate for that um, that's very much in their neighborhood. So, is this crazy? It's not. It's entirely reasonable. Um, and uh, it fits um, a very clear, broader narrative um, that, that, that is very easy it, it is very easy to place this in a broader narrative um, uh, of understanding. Um, the 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 harder thing to understand is um, is when exactly um, these trade um, networks collapsed. Um, we do know that we know that the trade networks between Italy and China collapsed when the Arabs took over. Marco Polo, right? Um, it, it's it's what happened. Uh, this is understood history, right? Um, and so people in Italy all of a sudden couldn't get stuff from China anymore because the Arabs were standing in the way and be like, no. Partly because they were saying it's ours and partly because they were saying we're going to charge you through through the roof on taxes, right? So, they got in their boats, so all the way around Africa, trying to find a better trade route. This is before anybody ever went to um, the New World, but remember that the reason they sailed across the Atlantic was because they were looking for a way to get to China, right? Uh, or India, hence the misattribution. So, um, we see that there's a historical example that we can use and say, well, you know, maybe there was a trade route there, um, you know, and maybe something happened in Africa, um, like the Saharan Desert, um, that, that, that made it a little bit harder um, for goods to um, get across. So that's another thing. Um, not only did those water levels come up, um, making the distance lar l bigger than it used to be, um, but the Sahara Desert happened. 15,000 years ago, there wasn't a giant desert in the middle of Africa. It was actually fertile land where crops of at this point unknown variety uh, could be grown and perhaps domesticated. Ah.